so in this video I'm going to be putting together my gaming slash streaming machine. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't. Also hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7pm and on Sunday at 9am. Link will be in the description. I play all types of games and I'll be playing on this system. Alright, I started with the processor. I got an AMD Ryzen 3700X. This will be good. I'm, I'm probably not going to overclock it right away. I'm just going to use the stock cooler for now. Let's see, I got a Corsair RM740X power supply. Um, I got this mostly because I wanted a little headroom so that this can try to run in uh, ultra low noise as much as possible. Um, I already had a four terabyte hard drive that I'm going to reuse. So I'm going to set these aside just so that I have room on here to display each part. Then I got a GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Um, I got this lucky because the rest of my machine will be black and white. And so is this. And I got this just because it was on a good deal on Amazon. Links for all of this stuff will be in the description. I'll make sure I reiterate that as much as possible. All right. The next part is uh, RAM. I only got thirty. I only got three thousand megahertz, uh, but it's twenty. It's but it's thirty-two gigabytes, so that should be good. So I got the ASUS Prime X five seventy Pro with uh, Aria Sync. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I don't think I have much RGB in this. Um, but I, yeah, I got most of these parts because they're white and black. I'm trying to make a theme here. So this one is the only one I didn't get in a theme. I don't know if this has RGB or not. I got this because I wanted to capture 4K footage from uh, different consoles and this computer itself. And I didn't like the price of the Elgato at the time, so that's what I went with. And then to round it all off, I got the Corsair 100R uh, Silent Edition because I didn't want to display this too much. I might change the case um, later on, but for now this will be what I use. All right, so let's uh, open this guy up. I got scissors. Alright, so this doesn't have a window or anything on either side. I wanted it that way so it's more silent. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open and start putting parts in it. side panel off. I'm going to do both sides just so it's all open. I think my SSD will go back here and probably one of my hard drives. So now that it's open, I'm gonna switch to a different camera angle so that you guys can see inside the case while I'm building in it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is move this aside because I need to take out 
most of the components so that we can start working on them. So let's get the motherboard out first. some of the cables out, I'm gonna need those. And there were risers and stuff. I don't need the booklet, I don't think. It's all pretty straightforward. Super nice. All right. So I'm gonna put the RAM on first. I'm probably doing this way out of order for everybody else, but I will do it my way and see if it works. Hopefully I'll do more of these in the future. If you guys like these types of videos, um, I would love to build more PCs. I've done a few, uh, probably around five. So I got four sticks, so I don't need to worry about uh, what channels I use because they're all going to be used. So let's go ahead and just pop that guy. We'll just pop them all. And stick one is in. Should have followed my procedure like I did the first time. See, I make mistakes. And I'll probably make more. So, welcome to the ride of a PC building. Let's go ahead and put the next one in. Four RAM sticks are in. Now let's go CPU. There you go. Open this guy. So I've actually never built an AMD uh, computer before, so this will be a first time experience in this socket. I believe I need to open it first. And then be careful because all of the leads are on the CPU. And there should be Triangle, maybe? If I see the triangle on the CPU. I don't really want to guess, but I believe it goes like this. Nope, that doesn't seem right. Oh, the triangle's pointed that way, so it's supposed to go this way? That seems right. All right. So then you close that guy. All right. 
So then I bought some uh, Arctic, and I haven't used it before. I just opened it um, off camera. So I looked at Gamer Nexus's uh, mat, and I believe it was a line or an X. Is what he recommends. So I'm gonna do an X. Hopefully not too much. Whoa. This stuff comes out pretty qu quick. This is probably way too much. But let me know down in the comments if I put way too much. I'll try to spread it around a little bit. Or if I need to put more, let me know. I'll put a little bit more. That looks like a good amount, but let me know if I should put more. So I got plenty, so let me know if I need to get more, put more on there. Let's get this cooler out. Oops. Oh, there's already thermal paste on it. I did not know that. This might be too much uh, thermal paste. Now that this also has some, um, but hopefully uh, with the combination, it's actually just about right. So, it looks like it needs to hook. So I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna go ahead and, the CPU fan is right there, so I'm, I'm gonna have it this way. So I'm gonna stand up. I think that I need to hook one side first. CPU to try to hopefully I'm doing this uh, correct. So it looks like it's on there. I don't see any um, excess being seeped up or seeping out of it. I think I'm gonna call that good. How about I? Yep, all right. It looks fine to me. Yep, I don't think that locks into place. Let me know down in the comments if that's supposed to lock into place. I think it's secure enough. Plug in the CPU fans, I don't forget. So it also came with other cords, maybe for the RGB. An extension, I think, from the other one might be the RGB. sure therefore there's a little booklet so I'm supposed to pull that Exactly. 
sure if I'm supposed to do that. And this is not, this paperwork is not much help. Let me know down in the comments what I'm supposed to do. I'll probably look up these wires. Next thing we can do is go ahead and clean up a little bit. And then I will put the case back up here. So I can put the motherboard in it. so that they don't wind up uh, but behind the motherboard. And let's move these wires as much as possible. These are the front connectors. Cut that tie because I need that out of the way. like yeah the base plate uh, is it just attached already so we're gonna just put this guy in oh I'm gonna put the, the risers on first which are over here but I don't know if they're needed I only have two so I'm not gonna put them on See if I can get this in there without taking the fan out. Yeah, I don't think I can, so let's go ahead and take this. I think I need to take off this fan because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to put the motherboard in without moving that. Like this video if you liked it, just like if you didn't, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I do new videos. I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7pm and on Sunday at 9am. Uh, I play all types of games on all types of systems. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.